Today we're going to be testing Berkeley's new HD baits. These are the Berkeley Power Bait HD True Colors. I got a Gilly, two packs of Gilly. I got one of these Champ Minnows and one of these Golbies, I think they're called. But they're all the HD line of baits. I think I'm going to put on these Minnows on a drop shot and see what they do. These are supposed to be high definition if you can't tell. They pretty much took a minnow and just printed it on there. This is the minnows. They have a bluegill design. That's the bluegill. And they also have a little bitty goby looking thing. So, I got a drop shot rigged up in a Texas rig for the uh, bluegill and the minnow. So, let's tie one of these on. That's what the bait looks like. I'll just hook it through the nose on this little drop shot rig. And there we go. Pretty decent looking drop shot bait. Uh, looks like just a piece of dead cut bait, really. But, uh, yeah, let's get it in the water and try to catch a fish on this one. And then we'll switch to uh, either the Golby or the Boogie. So rained a little bit. The water's a little murky. Well, actually, it ain't looking at it from over here, but. Okay. It's actually got a pretty realistic action. Looking in the water there, I might can zoom in. That's pretty nice, but let's see if we can't catch a bass on it. I done got snagged up in a tree limb with this drop shot. I got it back. I pulled my weight off, so now I've just got a no weight to my drop shot. See what it does without a weight on it. That might actually make a decent kind of a fluke action right there. That might be pretty good. Next up is gonna be the bluegill. This is the Mike Iconelli Pro Design Gilly. I've heard a lot of people talking about this, but not the other HD baits, but this seems to be their most popular one. It's the Gilly, so I'm gonna rig it up. I think you just put an extra wide gap hook through there, through the side, and uh, let's fish it a little bit. These were pretty pricey. Same price as the minnows, but you only get three baits, so kind of expensive, but uh, hey, they look good. So let's rig it up. I'm good. All right, I got the ghillie all rigged up. Here's what it looks like from this side. That side is where the hook is. I think this is three all. It might be a four, but. Let's get a look at the action. Oh, okay. So it kind of floats a little bit. Kind of wish it didn't float. That kind of just looks like a tater, to be honest. Why would it be floating? I don't know why it would float. Maybe I got some air in there somehow. Something. Bass just hit it. Something like bluegill are hitting him. What is going on? Bluegill are eating him. <laughs> That's pretty weird. I don't know why bluegill would eat him. All right, I got the Golby on here. Uh, one thing I want to note, this ain't like a normal thing because uh, it's kind of like a 50-pound piece of mono right here. I think it's to keep it weedless, so I'm going to leave it on there, but if I have problems with hook set, I'll just cut that mono off. So let's just swim it, swim it through. 
see if we get some hits. I can't hardly see it. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's actually got a pretty decent swimming action. All right, so no bites on the HD Golby, but uh, I looked at the action. It's pretty good action, so mm -hmm. I think we could catch some fish when it cools off a little bit, or maybe in, I don't know, we just get more time, but uh, didn't have much time to fish. So, uh, but yeah, pretty good action on the Golby and the Bluegill and the Minnow. As far as all together, I'd highly like them. I'd really like them. I'd recommend them. Just, uh, Gonna spend a little premium price, you could say that, for these. But uh, all around, I give them 8 out of 10 all around. Pretty good little uh, series of baits here. So here's going to be a video of me drop shotting right here. If you want to see how to rig that, here's to subscribe. If you like this video, get a subscribe and a like. But for now, I'll see you on the next one. Ride this out to last light on real.